Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the weekend of the 24th and the 25th of February 2018. Ooh, get me with the date. Valley Bobs joins us. Oh, okay. She's having a wash. Oh, oh, sweetheart. Now I can have a wash. She's grabbed hold of my hand. Oh, oh, Valentine. Oh, there you go. I'm getting a little wash. <laughs> oh, and a nibble as well. I was wondering, actually, because this is the weekend, obviously. Does Valentine have a weekend? Do cats have weekends? It's a bit like, I don't know if you watch Downton Abbey. And there's one particular funny bit with Maggie Smith as the dowager and she's round the table and uh, everyone's talking and they mention what to do at the weekend. And then she just says, what's a weekend? Maybe Valentine thinks like that, sweetheart. Oh, isn't that nice? Should we do a tarot reading now? Should we do weekend tarot? <laughs> Ow. Be gentle, sweetheart. Ooh, she's very playful at the moment. It's because the sunshine. I'm feeling playful because the sunshine. It's freezing, but the sunshine. Yeehaw. Right. I'm using the Nigel Jackson Tarot. That one. This is for all astrological signs. Ooh. Wow. <coughs> there are a lot of characters on the table. There is a lot of movement. First card that came out. Two of coins. I hope you can see that properly. I don't know where to put it because the sun's all a bit stripy. Two of coins. Two of coins is when you are literally, like this woman seems to be juggling two things. And for me, it's kind of stop, start, it's rest. And then it's, whoa, lurch, something happens. And then nap, and then something happens. Here I've got the four of swords. You can see this guy having a nap in his tent. Or I hope you can see this guy having a nap in his tent. I might just close the curtain. One moment. Very technical, obviously. Very technical. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Whoa. Haha, oh. you can see me now. Four of Swords. A guy having a kip in a tent. This is feeling kind of rested and feeling kind of okay. And then, boom. Our old friend, the Eight of Wands, is back. News. For some of us, this is something coming in. It may come in like Sunday night, drop in your inbox and you think, oh, okay, that's what I'm doing next week then. That's what I'm tackling next week. It just feels like there are characters, there are things happening, there are messages coming, but you feel like sleeping, but you know that you've got to get up and do something, or you feel like you don't want to action whatever those emails are, but you've got to because something has dropped in that you can see is important. Then we have the Knight of Wands, and again, this is things happening, you know, he's wands, he's do -do -do he's let's go, on his horse, <sighs> whatever that is, it's fire, it's information, and then the running man, the Eight of Wands, there he is with his scroll, dashing across, something to tell you, have you heard the news, or this is your news, or here's your offer, or whatever it is. It, for some people, this is gossip. And I don't mean that negatively. I just mean that there is gossip because there is the Queen of Coins here and the Knight of Wands. And I just kind of feel like those are characters. Those are people. They could be in your group of friends. It could be that within your group of friends, someone has a breakup or finds out someone's had an affair or whatever it is and you hear about it or someone puts something on Facebook that's really juicy and you're like oh my god have you seen that and you're sharing it whatever there are 
sort of flows or swathes of information coming in and then the need to sleep. I mean, it is the weekend, so basically the Four of Swords should be our champion card anyway. We all know that I like a nap. Any time is a good time for a nap. Then we have the Two of Coins and the Two of Wands in reverse. Two twos, again, slight opposition. Bit of push-pull. This could be family. If you've got any kind of family get-together, family gathering, or even just push-pull across family. Let's say you're trying to organise a family wedding or a family holiday. This is emails coming in. You know, like if you've set up a WhatsApp group or you've set up an email group, that's all a bit old hat now, isn't it? If you've set up a WhatsApp group, if you're more technologically minded than I am and know how to set up a WhatsApp group, then you've got you know, uh, auntie whatever is saying, oh, well, I can't do that because I can't this. And then, you know, your nephew or your uncle or your brother or whatever is saying, well, the kids can't do that and they won't eat that. And it's all a bit, woo, the stuff coming in from everywhere. And you're thinking, how can I juggle all of these people, these needs, these opposing forces? So if you're organising something for work, if you're organising something for family, for a group, for characters... It will be quite taxing. It will be push-pull. You will be, as they say, trying to ride two horses with one arse. Now, I want one of those, but I want one of these. Brian and Wendy Frude are coming into it. We're having a heart of my bottom oracle. Feels like you. Well, that's good. Well, that's good too. Nice. We get the song. Now, this is a reminder amidst all this chaos that whatever you're organising or whatever you want or whatever you wanted to say, however loud the clamouring is and the people talking and the emails or the WhatsApp or the Snapchat or the messages, I'm just watching Valentine is watching the camera then make sure you sing your song, make sure you have your say, make sure you get what you want and that you express what you want. There's some strong characters on the table, but you know, you're the one who started it, make sure that you have your voice. When I get the song, it's always about your authentic voice coming through. If this is a bit of a ding dong, if this is more of a family rift or row, again, however scary it might be, and for some of you, there's some quite domineering mother figures going on or female figures, aunties, grandmothers, mothers, sisters. Sing your song, OK? You don't have to say your piece, but you do need to sing your song. And then we get this gorgeous guy and he's lovely. This is the Prince of Light. This is someone coming in and helping. Hello, Val. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone coming in and helping you. Notice that he's got a little egg. It's kind of a gift. This is someone, it could be, if it's a family thing, this would be the one family member, male family member, who actually wants to help you and be nice to you. So he may take some of that off you or he may just smooth the path. That's quite nice, actually. Oh, hello, hello. So... These are uh, 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 Sonia Coquette. The answer is simple. You are not afraid. Almost went into a Michael Jackson song then, but it's not quite the same. But hey, it is Friday. If you want to have a song, have a song. Song! Yay! You are not afraid. Okay, whoever this... And there is certainly at least one dominant character in this scenario whether it's work family whatever it is don't be afraid to put your feelings across there is a certain person in this scenario that definitely yanks your chain a bit but don't let them let's have colette baron reed oracle card 
It's busy though. I quite like this. If it's organising a party, I reckon it will be good once you've managed to get everyone. Well, everybody won't agree, by the way. You're not going to get everyone to agree. So sometimes, again, with this You Are Not Afraid card and the song card, you just have to say, look, we're doing it like this. Fall in with it. Yang. The masculine energy principle of getting it done. I like that too. Do you like that, Val? Oh, Valentine. You're so lovely. Whoops. Let's have a healing with the angels oracle card. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Serenity. In this kind of hub of slightly frenetic behaviour with lots of egos around and yibbity 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 I want this I want that. Remain serene but powerful in the middle. Expressing yourself beautifully Singing your song, you don't have to shout, you don't have to screech, you don't have to shout anyone down. It's just you wait for your moment, you express yourself serenely and calmly, you lay out what's going to happen and then you say, thank you very much, it is done. Great reading. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Check out the love readings as well that are from mid-February. Is that right? Mid-February to mid-March 2018. Those are up on the channel, timestamped for each astrological sign. Okay, see you soon. Namaste.